GG. <laughs> this deck is silly. Why is it even winning? Oh my god. Why is it even winning? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Recording another video for you all. And today, you just saw a little taste of the deck that is right there. Uh, we're not going back to the, the green black uh, update yet. We're going to be looking at this deck. And it's called Legends for a reason. Uh, during my last live stream, that's on uh, twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. Um, someone in my chat challenged me to make a Legends deck. With only the Legends that I have. And so, here it is. Meet all the Legends deck. Now, the only rules stipulated is that the creatures have to be majority legendary. Okay, I can still throw in some one or two cost creatures, but the rest of the creatures must, must be legendary. And so I figured, okay, let's see what I've got. And sadly, the majority of the legendaries I have is black and white. And so I figured, eh, what the hey, let's make a black-white legendary deck. And so here it is. <sighs> Bear with me, this deck is not meant to be meta. This deck is not meant to be anything other than a fun deck to mess around with. And so here it is. We're going to start off with one Mox Amber, because that's all I've got. I wasn't allowed to, to create any more. That was another stipulation. I was only allowed to use the amount of legendaries that I have. I cannot, for example, if I want to use four uh, uh, Vesses, and I've only got three, I can only use three. I cannot create a fourth one. I can't use a wild card, okay? I can only use what I have. So all you bigger YouTubers out there, i.e. Merchant, um noxious etc etc you know who's got access to every bloody card in their collection uh, uh this will be easy for you but for a, a, a scrub like me who's just new to the uh, uh, online version of the game you know um let's just say where, where'd that box go uh, yeah this is an empty box of core 19 that's because I bought it. <laughs> I'm a huge collector of the actual card game, but... Anyway, so we've got one Mox Amber, one Scram Senior Edifer. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or a vehicle spell, draw a card. Don't care, he's a 2-2 drop, he's legendary, meh. Uh, then we've got Scrap Heap Scroungers, I've got four of... I know they're not legendary, but everyone in my, in my stream allowed it. Cast down says legendary technically in the text, well, non legendary, so they allowed it. Uh, one black blade reforged again, <laughs> uh, four heart of Kirin, legendary, uh, Yeni undying Parazon, uh, 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 partisan, legendary, uh, combo console allocation, legendary, four, mur uh, four murders for control. Now Voice of Plenty, legendary. Tashar, Ancestor's uh, uh, Apostle, legendary. Gondly, Lord of Luxury. That match clip you saw just before this video was me using my Gondly to grab my opponent's Gondly to then use my opponent's Gondly to grab another card in my opponent's deck. <laughs> because he thought that <laughs> when you kill Gondly, you hand the card back, but you don't, you keep it. <laughs> So I use <laughs> I use Lord of Luxury to grab a Lord of Luxury. <laughs> it was insane. Uh, and I'm using two uh, uh, Vest Lich Knights, uh, two Ravenous Shooter Cobras again, mostly for the control. Yes, I know they're not legendary. Two Traxia Scourge of Crocs. It just makes sense to use him simply because. The majority of the stuff I'm going to play is legendary, which means I get to untap him. Okay? Um, then we've got Liliana, Untouched of Our Death. She is a legendary planeswalker. Helm of the Host, legendary artifact. Uh, Liliana, Death's Majesty. Um, Avad the Cursed, again, 
Call card just recently boosted him. Um, the fact that all legendary creatures I control get plus two, plus two. So, Draxus in theory is a 9-9 nine, nine with Trample. Uh, Yosh Vess is in theory a 6-7. Um, you know, uh, uh, Tishar is in theory a 4-4. Four, four. Um, Voice of Plenty is in theory a 5-6. Yanni is in fact a 4-4+. Four, four plus. You know, do you see what I'm saying? It just makes sense to, to I, I need to get more of him. He is freaking awesome. Um, then, of course, we've got uh, Treasure Mine, Primal Death. Um, then we've got Urugos, the Empty One. Again, two of. And one, Zepia Primal Dawn. Um, again, this is all I had. And then I, I was like, I don't have any, le technically, any legendary lands that would help. So I just went with straight Forsaken Sanctuaries and uh, uh, Four Plains. I don't know why I've got so many swamps. I really don't need that many swamps. Um, so what I might do is uh, edit out the lands so I get more white, if that makes sense. So we're going to go planes. We're going to even it out. So we're up to 65, so I'm going to drop five of these. There we go. So because the majority of I've got is usually one white at a time. So I want to even out so I can get the whites so I can actually play more of the cards. Um, actually, you know what? Um, yeah, we'll drop one more planes and go go with 12 swamp um, but yeah like I said it, it's an interesting deck um, it's legends it's fun let's play a game hopefully we can have some fun and that's what the deck is about it is about having fun it is not meant for anything other than just fun okay guys it's all it's meant for is fun I don't care if I win or lose I don't care if I get mana screwed. I don't care. It, 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 I, I, again, this deck is just about having fun because there are a lot of removal, early game removal that players play where it clearly says target legendary. If my stuff's legend, not legendary, if my stuff isn't legendary, uh, is legendary, you can't target it. Um, of course, my opponent gets to go first, so I can't even touch my cards yet until he's decided whether he wants to keep his hand. That or the algorithms waiting to try and screw me. Here we go. Uh, three mana. Couple of two twos. I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll keep. Awesome. I will throw that down. Okay. Ooh. Double strike kitty. I will play Heart of Kieran. Just for him to think, what the hell? Ooh, it's a buff. Okay. It's a buff deck. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Boom. End my turn. <sighs> no. It's going to hit me for two. Unless he's going to buff it. Is he going to Warren buff it? Come on. Warren buff it. Warren buff it. Buff it. Buff it. See? This is where I wish I have just... Ah! No fucking removal. God damn it. This freaking sucks. Uh. Screw it, I'll play Yosh Vess. So he's buffed that little kitty, huh?
Go ahead, buff it. Kill my vest. Game man over yet. He's probably got like a one ping in his hand. Yeah, I know. Can't believe he did that much damage with a fucking double strike cat. But anyway, again, it's... As you can see, you're thinking, wait, hang on. He turned a 3-2 into a 4-4 flyer. Yeah, that's how you do it. And that's what this is all about, guys. It's about having fun. So we've lost one. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we could actually win one, shall we? I mean, that was a really good, nicely constructed deck, you know? Hmm. So I'm taking on... Tier one players. Yay! You gotta love the Koreans. Okay. Um I'll keep. Throw down a white. Next turn I'll throw down a black. Okay. Oh yeah, creatures your opponent's control come in tap. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Whenever a creature they comes in, you gain a life, yeah. That up, uh, this authority of consoles is broken as fuck. Yeah, piss off. Bye. No, that's shite. Okay. Okay, so it's land, land grab. Blue control land grab. Yep. Yeah, it's just land ramp. It's all it is. Fuck me. Any goddamn time now. Quite literally, just spend like 20 fucking years trying to drag a fucking land up. Just, nope, 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 no. Nope. Oh, you would put a land into play now. Okay. 
So it's blue life gain. Alright, I'll take the one. He's tapped out. He's going to trade the 2-2 two, to two, two, the 2-3. Yep. Don't care. Got no artifacts left to untap. Okay, thank you. So, unless he somehow manages to come up with a way to block my flyer, uh, when I win a chicken dinner. I bet that guy's kicking himself like, how the hell can a bronze tier 2 kick my ass? That's the legendaries deck for you. Most people don't expect to see this deck win, but it does. We did pick up a pack, so let's look at the fruits of our labor. Okay, we get a uh, uncommon wild card. Another uh, Greenwood Sentinel. I've already got four of those, so I don't know why it didn't give me a common wild card. Bug Art Brute. Another Duress. Hired Blade. Explosive Apparatus. Three tap. Sacrifice Explosive Apparatus. It deals two damage to any target. Gargoyle Sentinel. 3-3 three, three Defender. Pay three attention. Uses Flying. And a rare is another Open the Grave. That's four of those we've got now. Awesome. Uh, I believe it's four. Let me double check. Four open the graves now. Whenever a non-token uh, creature you control dies, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. That's awesome. So, yeah. Um, so we lost. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Um, so there, yeah. Uh, so we've just got to play another 10 more spells and we can get some more gold by another pack. Eh. 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 I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ciao.